Hello everyone, Chalky Chip Cookies here, and today I'll be playing Saints Row Gats Out of Hell. I know it's been a while since I've played it, but um, I decided to play it again because it's been a while. I just don't even know exactly how long it's been. And so today I'm just gonna check the overall, see how everything works. So far, the control is like this. When you off, oh, piss, wait. So far, I'm carrying this giant hammer because I already did uh, a quest called, um, um, I hope, apparently I gained Blackbeard's loyalty, or even though this is technically a loyalty quest, so technically I just helped him out, but apparently he doesn't trust me. Trustception? I think so. And I got this weapon for helping him since he I had to help him fight bosses. So it's technically like GTA, except with more stuff. There's more weird weapons. There are cars everywhere. You can even create it up to the point where it can be a Michael Bay movie. Anyway, he'll just run around, but apparently I have also discovered that if you press if you press freaking ah oh shit, hold up, I'm um, just gonna if you sprint but press R3 while heading to the office. Oh wait, I need the unarmed thing. That's right. Ah fuck. Okay. Yeah. What well, I, I also re discovered that if you sprint towards someone and press R3 while being unarmed, you can do like some sort of takedown on them. Mostly just like some sort of uh, uh, action that you do or whatever, a move that the enemies can't do anything so all they can do is just wait and die. Example, like this. Oh yeah, when that happens and also if you attack, if you hit an enemy enough with a melee weapon or so, or I mean unarmed I mean, then you may do an animation on them, although I only think that part of logic applies to demons only. You saw what I just did, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Seriously, how can anyone survive that? That's my question. I'm pretty sure you got stabbed in the heart. I don't even. And if and if you sprint towards someone, but then but then not sprint anymore, you can do like some sort of animation that's not as cool, but but quite as deadly. However, for some reason, you don't really use your knives much. Now tell me someone would survive that. I mean, just tell me. Tell me. Just tell me. So mostly, here's the objective. You cause enough chaos uh, to sort of Satan will pay attention to you. You see that little meter on the top left corner on the menu. And yeah, that's the meter to see how much chaos or attention or Satan's attention. Uh, let me say this again. This represents how much Satan is paying attention to me. So far, I'm nothing. I'm just another wanderless soul just creating some sort of chaos. So I just keep doing quests or create more chaos. That's all. So I either complete more of these or create or create more of this. So you, you, so you, so you guys are telling me, but how do we create more chaos? Well, besides the point that you guys already know how to destroy everything or do quests, you can also buy weapons. Now, you know, a place is not the best place. It's not the best place to be in when weapons can be bought as a vending machine. You heard me right. At a goddamn vending machine. Am I pissed? No, actually, I'm actually quite jelly. So you have the you have a rocket launcher that shoots frogs and it and explodes, and you have a regular rocket launcher. I'll, I'll pay for the regular one because reasons. I really don't want to. And this is a sniper. You will need this. Why? Mm -hmm. Reasons you may or may not understand. See? See? I mean, how could anyone survive that? I mean, that boss that got stabbed in the neck. Although there will be some animations where um, they don't um, uh, go where they were supp intentionally supposed to be. Let me, let me see if I can do it. See? 
Oh no, never mind, never mind. I can't show it to you right now, alright? Alright. Let me let me try and do this. Okay, same seat. How is it when I'm not recording a video it happens, but when I am it doesn't? And I just feel like an idiot. Even though the almost all my videos are me acting like idiots. At least I think, I don't know, I haven't been watching my videos lately. I mean, I never really watched them in the first place, really. So yeah, there's that. What the hell? Okay, sometimes someone can stop your animation by doing stuff. Okay, it's in place, but okay, here's the thing. Sometimes in these kinds of animations, they get out of place like it lo it'll look like Johnny's punching the air but somehow the enemy is, is getting affected by it uh, if only I could show it to you guys right now mm, let me try that again oh okay okay I think this guy saw it I think you guys saw it we may we may be we may be behind the truck but I think you guys saw it did you see it if you didn't, then... Oh, oh, okay, okay, now you see it. Now you see it. You see, it's like so out of place, but somehow the enemy's getting affected by it. I mean, the knife didn't even touch the boss, but it's like, it, he still dies. And one thing I like about this game is that it, 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 you, it's logic. Like, even if you're doing a takedown move, the enemies will still attack you no matter what. I'm pretty sure some games, in some games, they, they wait for you to take, do the takedown. I think, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I mean, what do you expect when one of your first consoles, when one of the first consoles you ever played on was a Nintendo 64? But then again, a lot of people who used to play the old-time consoles, like Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the freaking... Uh, and yeah, like consoles like the Nintendo 64. I mean, even if they are old, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure people can still learn how the new generation consoles work. In other words, the controllers are just the same thing, but you know, just some stock change. But whatever, whatever. Mostly the console, mostly by how, what games you can play on the console, really. Okay. You can also fly in this game if you, well you, you already know that if you played the tutorial or saw my first video on this game. Okay, so yeah, this is the weapon selection. You can do stuff. I already unlocked an ability by helping Blackbeard. I can press R1 and let go and I let, and I have bar and I have my own minions. Oh Jesus. And I'm about to die. So how does this work? Well, I already told you. It's like GTA. Create an chaos, get Satan's attention. Oh wait, get Satan's attention by filling up that meter right there. And let's see, collect, oh, let's see, what else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, collect these blue things in the sky that's, but for some reason are, are here for some reason. I mean, seriously, I mean, who will leave these around knowing that your enemy could use them to be a, to be a, a badass? I mean, seriously, who leaves these around? And they say Bowser is a bad boss. I mean, I mean, with, yeah, awesome. All right, these things, the blue things, you use to upgrade your ability. You, okay, you can upgrade your flight or or your or your super sprint, which either is, makes you go faster or use less stamina. And sometimes you can even unlock new abilities like um, being able to hover and let's see, doing maneuvers and, and and run on walls run on walls yeah, although you need to be at a certain level to do so you, yeah, with the guns, you can, you can shoot at everything a lot of times you will die because seriously, they have tanks the last time I checked on GTA, they don't have tanks whenever you're at a certain wanted level Seriously, I mean, why don't they have tanks? You're, 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 you have five stars and yet they don't even bring out tanks. Do they? No, no they don't. I mean, seriously, it's just cars and helicopters. And I don't remember what, but, but still, long story. I mean, seriously, 
I mean, I don't. I mean, I haven't played. I mean, GTA 5 is the only GTA game I've ever played, and yet they don't even have tanks on you. I mean, seriously, you're a huge threat. I mean, why would they not have tanks on you? That's my question. I mean, you're considered a threat right now. I mean, seriously, in this game, since it's hell, whenever you're a huge enough threat, possibly filling up four of these red bars on my mini-map on the bottom left corner, you get tanks and bosses that can, um, and you also get bosses that fly and have sh bullshit shields. And these are quests that you mostly find around um, hell, and you can do them. To get some um, uh, freaking uh, what did they call? What did they call it? Um, uh, wait, upgrade. So you can use uh, you can either use them to upgrade your abilities or buy new weapons. In other words, the in other words, you can mostly just earn money. Dosh, as I like to say it. I do not know how many how much time it has been, but yeah. And you just saw me die. There needs to be a sacrifice whenever you die, right? In order to respawn. So they mostly just take away some of your money. Just like GTA. But, but, although I'm not gonna lie, if I had to choose between GTA and Saints Row, at least this game, I may prefer this game. No, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit short. I already played, I already, I already did like, I already fought like freaking Satan and defeated the boss. It took me like three or two days. Oh, I don't remember really, but still. So yeah, I'm just gonna move around a bit, and yeah. This is a sniper. Where can you get ammo from? That's your question. Well, apparently if you have not, if you don't remember, if you not have been listening to this video, you can get them from the same, from the same place where you can buy weapons. Vending machines. Now, honestly, do you really want to go to a place where where weapons are so easy to find that you can find them at a vending machine? No, you do not want to live there. But unless you're a hell, you're gonna deal with it because then you might get attacked by some guy with wings and guns. And yeah. And these are the bosses who used to be human who were either crazy enough to commit so many bad crimes, they do a crime so bad that I got them to hell. Look what they look like. See? So technically it's not a bad thing when I kill them because then I'm saying that, because then I'm like, you know, they're getting payback for all the bad deeds they've done. So yeah, today we've gone through, so what have you learned from today? Well, besides that I stutter a lot, the basics of the game. And in the next video, we're mostly just gonna fuck around a bit. Alright, hope you all enjoyed, see ya, and whatever. Oh yeah, also whenever you do something, the game just decides to give you a hint. Yep, just like GTA, give you hints on about everything you do. Well, not really everything. Oh yeah, you can also find these things. Okay, that's nice, Satan. Alright. Goodbye. See, see, you saw, didn't you? Huh? You already saw like two or three times, people, so you can't, so, so you can't say anything about me saying like the animation sometimes doesn't go well with what's going on. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. Alright. Goodbye.